see you soon, banker. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> he spoke oh. for the whole audience right there. Yep. <laughs> I want to do that shit an hour ago. I had a theory about this ending, and I read about it, and I was like, exactly what I thought. They couldn't Tell get me. him back. That's something else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did that shit for real? <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. People, this bad movie roast that we're coming up with right now, we're doing in honor of the great Humpty Hump, a.k.a. Shock G, a.k.a. Hump, the, the oh. great Humpty Hump. So just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty. Please allow me to bump the... Y'all know that. That is a classic. <laughs> that is not just a hip-hop classic. That is a pop classic. It that is. is a club classic. That is a karaoke classic right there. <laughs> He's always doing this for you, but allow me to bump the... Oh, hey. <laughs> so just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty. <laughs> I like my oatmeal lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost made some oatmeal tonight in honor of this man right here. And so that is why I decided to come in tonight and in honor of the great Shock G, a.k.a. Humpty Hump, I decided to do a movie review for the only big Hollywood narrative feature that the great Humpty Hump has ever done. The Honorable Reeve, Alvin Balkanizer presides. Dan Aykroyd. Put out that dog rocket! Nothing but trouble. I say in honor, <laughs> but... I say in honor, but it might be more disrespectful to actually <laughs> talk about this movie. <laughs> That the great Humpty Hump is. I'm sure somewhere Humpty Hump is watching us and he's screaming, No, 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 don't play that shit again. I tried to forget it. Uh, uh, Humpty's one of the few good things in this movie. Yeah. That's debatable. Tell them not. Tell them not. Tell not. <laughs> yeah, you remember this. Yeah. Boy, that's, that, is, that is debatable <laughs> for some people out here. People, I got to tell you, I got to tell you something. I, I, I think I have finally met my match. <laughs> People, I, I, I've why I've you know, I've never watched something so stupid that has left me so speechless. I, I, you know, I almost respect this movie for what it achieves right here. How do you make something so weird and yet so dull at the same time? You got Chevy Chase and Demi Moore. He's trying to get with her, and she's gonna let him use his uh, use his car, but he decides to drive her to some politician, a businessman, landfill person. I don't know. It's supposed to just be the Atlantic City. At they're supposed yeah, to go Atlantic to Atlantic City. City yeah. And they get caught in this speed trap where these people, they got some very, very strange ideas about justice in this small village. This village right out of New Jersey or something. Right, yeah. yeah. In the, between New York village, and Jersey. Not this, not this town. Yeah. They talk about a village like this is Transylvania or some yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, there's some, some, you know, some hilly, redneck areas of New Jersey and New York. And so, it's okay. true. And that's what they apparently ran into right here. But for running a stop sign, apparently in this village, the maximum penalty is possibly death. If the judge or the justice of the peace just doesn't like who you are. You know, you want them fancy, you, you want them fancy big city bankers coming through. We don't yeah. like that around these parts right here. So they got this big creepy house. You know, it's supposed to be a combination of a lot of things that I'll tell you about in a little bit. Because that's what they, they, what they did was they wanted to make a horror comedy. Let me give you a little background on this because Dan Aykroyd didn't even want to direct this. No. Dan Aykroyd, who is in heavy makeup right here, yeah. Dan Aykroyd didn't even want to do this right here. But he wanted to do the movie. Thing is, him and a friend, his friend broke a rib and they decided to go see a movie because he wanted to take his friend, uh, his mind off the pain. And so his friend said, okay, if you want to take my mind off the pain, just don't take me to see something funny because I'm going to laugh and it's going to hurt my rib right here. He's like, all right, well, let's go see a horror movie. The movie they went to go see was Hellraiser. And apparently in Hellraiser, the audience they thought uh, that they saw this with thought Hellraiser was hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. and I don't know what people they were kind of sadistic. <laughs> right. they were they were so she fast. They went to go see it. What was the last time you watched Hellraiser? Since I was like, seriously? Since I was like 18 or 19. Exactly. 
So if you go back and watch it now, see, that's probably the movie we should be talking about tonight. You know what? We'll get around to it. But when they went and saw it, it just come out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know? And they sit in there with this audience, and they're laughing. And so they said, well, damn, you know, what we gather from this is that people, they want to be scared, and they want to laugh at the same time, apparently. So, you know, like, it, boy, this is, this is Hollywood for you. So these guys just decided, like, you know what? Let's just go to the studio. Let's go to Warner Brothers and ask for $40 million and just let's make a horror comedy. We don't know what it is yet, but we'll get to it. You'll know they'll give us the money. So they go over there and they decide that they want to uh, do this horror comedy. And when it, the, the, the horror that they were influenced by, they said, you know what? I want to make something that's funny. I want to make something that's kind of funny, creepy, monsters, like the, the, the monsters. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Abbott and Costello type stuff. But also, we to, for the real scary parts, we want to be influenced by things like Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But with laughs. Yeah. A lot, lot, lot of ideas fighting each other. Yep. And people, I got to tell you something. Of course, I've seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I got more laughs out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre than I did out of this movie. I mean, you can see the germ of what they were trying to put together in this. It's just that they found a way to make none of it work. No. But, but what was really funny, Dan Aykroyd directing this, because they went to legendary directors, went to uh, John Landis, who looked at the script and went, oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then went to uh, John Hughes. His excuse was, well... I would, but I only direct movies of my own scripts. I'm like, yeah, you lying. Oh, you you lying. a goddamn lie. Yeah. You a goddamn lie. Yeah. yeah, that's a very nice way of putting that. Hey, Dan, I would love to do this, man, but you know, I only write my, I direct my own shit. But yeah. go talk to John Landis. <laughs> and you know, if for Landis to turn that down, yeah. that was when he was just trying to come back yeah. after that yeah. tragedy he had yeah. on that set, oh, on, on that on Twilight Zone. Zone. Yeah. So yeah. even if he's going, nah, man. I just ain't gonna work. Yeah, no. This script, hell no. No. Goddamn, Norman Bates is a better comedian than this goddamn movie right here. Is it the worst thing as far as I don't know what to do with some shit like this when I watch it? Yes. This is the first bad movie review that we've done where I was frustrated. I didn't, I, I, I was confused. I was scared. I didn't know what to do with this. Sure. Watching this, I was like, I don't know. Scene after scene, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the happening well plus it, you, you, the way it starts it's like huh if you could have made any of these characters uh i don't know have some charisma or make me want to follow them maybe i could get into it but mm -mm. you know chevy chase you look at chevy chase and caddyshack he is the ryan reynolds of his day mm -hmm. and he carries that that's and, great we're putting that and yeah, he gets real. to this movie he's like i don't give a shit he's not, not even trying none, none of these trying. people none of these people no, nobody gave a is shit. well dan Aykroyd is i'm sorry no no he is because <laughs> he's he, throwing everything he got into all it. this foist upon him and he's trying to work uh, he's trying to wear all these different hats i usually start these reviews saying for the man for the first 10 minutes is that man for the first man first five minutes that was man first first 15 minutes of this shit there is nothing happening there ain't shit happening now, oh, that's hell. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was like, damn, that looks more exciting now. Right, 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 right. I was like, man, I must have fell asleep. I was gonna say, oh shit, that looks kind of good. What part was that? I was like, what? How did I miss that part? The, the, the eyes, the eyes pick and everything. Yeah, I was like, blood cut out the walls. Is there a director's cut I didn't see? But no, with this man, I'm like, there's nothing happening. It starts out on some some bullshit setup about Demi Moore wanting to meet with some landfill owner or business guy some crooked business dude some shit about something they never come back to right I they no. never come back and, to and it even watching it again I was like I can't figure out if she wants to get on this guy because he's doing landfills or because he broke up with her because it seems like they keep switching back on what the story is apparently they couldn't figure out either because they never came back to right, it right. they never revisited this you got you got Chevy <laughs> Chase trying to trying to fuck Demi Moore the whole time I'll see you yeah. in the uh, garage at noon okay don't be late I won't be late good He's so thirsty, he actually had to take a drink. <laughs> like, I was looking at it too. Look at it. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Even people in the room got be like, God damn. Yeah, yeah, man, just take it easy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you had a party, man. You in public. That dude was a creep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink both these guys. Yeah. I'm going to jack off good tonight. <laughs> Shit, I had to.
roofing myself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I guess she's not going to take it. Yeah, you see, he got two glasses. Yeah, right. Like, well, fuck. Shit, yeah. I'll, I'll rape myself tonight. Yeah. <laughs> she's I don't give a shit. Smarter than I thought. Okay. Yeah, it's funny that she she asked for that drink and then barely took even a sip and then left. I'm like, you can at least finish that shit. Nah, she knew what he was no, up she to. Knows. Shit, she saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> knows. Fool's creeping. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what he putting that glass. Right. <laughs> that motherfucker drinking himself. Yeah. And he did. Right, exactly. He's like, well, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right after he's like oh shit like oh that's the one right. <laughs> yeah, put the roof in yeah, shit did <laughs> but fuck <laughs> when she's walking yeah, when she's walking off he's like I guess it's gonna take more than a day <laughs> this is getting me halfway there <laughs> <laughs> shit it's, it's so it's so much at the beginning of him just just looking at her just creeping man it's like man god damn yeah. we get it you horny but can we can we get this movie going wow this is really cherry okay I don't blame you I mean she's fine yeah. as no, but, Demi Moore was fine. But yeah, she back was. Then. But damn. I mean, but I, I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, they supposed to go on this on this road trip. He tells his Peter Ackroyd, his doorman. He like, man, I'm hungover. They tell this chick here, give me my keys. I don't right. give a shit. And she walks out. He like, oh goddamn, you give me my goddamn keys. <laughs> right. what, oh, was that was that Dan Ackroyd's brother? Yeah, was that Peter. I didn't yeah, know. I, oh, I didn't know that. The, the the see, I'd never seen him. I didn't know he had a brother. I didn't know that was him. So that's his brother yeah. over there. Wow. Yeah, the, the, yeah, we're one responsible for this story. <laughs> the woman with a t shirt on. <laughs> no, like a raggediest no, doorman no, ever. And, and yeah, he's, he, he looked like he, somebody to write a story like this. He's the like, yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah, he, he creative story. He's the, 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 the writer star producer's brother, and yet he gets two scenes. <laughs> Ooh, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have told me that. Now I got a face to put with this shit. He's a, he looked like a dude to write a story like this. Like, like with some suspenders. Yes. <laughs> suspenders and a goddamn t shirt. He looked like somebody to write some bullshit like this. I mean it looks like 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 he was walking like he was walking by the building on his day off and they were like, yo, the um, the guy didn't show up. We need you in here. Well, I'm not even, I, I don't have more job just right. put the put suspenders yeah, on. Just throw on his goddamn hat. <laughs> <laughs> put your goofy ass in front of the no, camera. This motherfucker right here putting people through this shit. <laughs> this, is, this is the way it's supposed to be. What the fuck is that? This asshole. God damn, they don't even care about his job. Look at this shit. This I don't got mom. slacks, a t shirt, some suspenders on, a goddamn chauffeur hat. I love New York. Well, bitch, I hate you. <laughs> God damn. Oh, man. People, this is how much I hate this shit. <laughs> if you won't give me some, if you won't give me a bad movie, give me something to talk about. Give me something to work with. Don't give me no stupid, crazy shit that I just got to sit up there and just be confused and not, and let it be dull to the point I don't know what to do with it. It'd be different if it was crazy. But, yes. But but it's just silly. These jokes, so they got these long pauses in them. Like they, like, like they, like. Wait you know, on the you, audience. You know what it's like? It's like, it's like watching a show with the laugh track, but they removed the sound. They oh, removed yeah. the laugh track, so yeah. it's awkward. Yeah, so it's people waiting for the laugh track to end yes. to deliver right. their next line. That's a, yeah, they are pausing where the where the laughter should be coming in. So when you got this laugh track comedy without the laugh track or the jokes, all the jokes right. and <laughs> and the jokes that they do, that what they try to do, they're doing like TV sitcom humor, but trying to have a movie edge to it with these long ass sitcom. A uh, 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 laugh track pauses to him. Look how awkward this is. I'll be in the penthouse if you change your mind. <laughs> Thanks for the espresso maker. <laughs> the bag of shit. Is the movie that bag? Because this is. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, you know oh, what? Oh yeah, no, I know. I should let you watch it again because I was bullshit. I was sitting up there adding my own because it was so awkward and just painful to me. I was putting in my own laugh track. L listen to this. Look at those pauses and you'll see what I'm talking about. Those are laugh track gaps in there. Without them, this shit is painful. I'll be in the penthouse if you change your mind. Thanks for the espresso maker. The bag of shit. Th I can tell you what that is. What? So everybody knew the script was bad. Mm -hmm. Everybody working on it agreed the script was bad. Even Dan Aykroyd agreed the script was bad. But he convinced Chevy Chase saying, like, but it's you and me. We can ad lib through this and make it funny. Ah. Well, they need to pick up that ad lib a little faster and have some goddamn material. You know what? If you ain't got nothing to work with when you ad lib, then just shut the f up and don't do nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's that option. You know, Warner Brothers, you can actually, somebody walk in there. Can you believe this? That's motherfucker. 
out there. Homeless, hungry. Yes, this was back in the 90s, and that's the case too back then. People need help and shit, and somebody walks into a studio with $40 million worth of bullshit, and they just hand it to them. Why? Because, oh, you've been on Saturday Night Live. Oh, you a legend. Oh, you know what? We trust you. And when they screen this shit, everybody in the studio was like, <gasps> yeah, mother. You might want to. You know what? You might want to oversee the project, or I don't know. Say no. Yeah, but, but <laughs> you know though, that's what they do though, because this is after this is right after Ghostbusters too, right? Uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. It's post Ghostbusters. Yeah, too. so Ghostbusters two did well, and that was Dan Aykroyd's project. Yeah, too. yeah, that's the thing. They gave him the money. There was no studio representative on set to, to say, "Hey guys." Dan you Aykroyd had, had 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 come through for them, and the studio the stayed time. out of it. Up until he started going over budget. Oh. Yeah. And that's when they came in. Yeah, that's and when they always like, come in. Let, yeah. us, let, let us see what you got. <laughs> Ooh, shit. No, 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 no. Yeah. Cut this out. And then look at your balls. You don't want to see that now. Ooh, that's yeah, too yeah, gory. Yeah. Yeah, we got to make this funnier and goofier. And Oh, oh, and, boy. Yeah. It's one of those projects where the shit was already bad and the studio was like, F- yeah. <laughs> and then they got to come in and try to work on it and, and make worse ideas people it's like trying to make a sculpture out of a turd yeah. that keeps falling apart people this is so dull the only thing that was given his life are some of the worst things in the movie I'm not defending it I'm just saying that when this movie was stalling they at least picked it up I'm not saying it's funny because I didn't like it but the movie is so dull the movie is dragging so bad that at least these people felt like they were in they were interested. And energy. And least. they had energy. Yes, At least they, they, act, they they felt like they wanted to be there. They shouldn't have been there, but it felt like they wanted to be there. They had these two goddamn Latin stereotypes, these brothers and sisters, this yeah, brother and sister brand, team yeah, in here from Brazil, South America. The Brazilian Brazilian couple. Yeah, T- Taylor Negron and Bertolina, uh, I'm sorry, Bertilia Damas. They have, t- Taylor Negron is Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, and he, yeah, he's also dead. Yeah, he passed away. <laughs> yeah, people. Great actor. But yeah. just... They people, you know, they one of those stereotypes. They just there. What's so bad about this? They're just there for their, you know, their funny accents that they're faking yeah, yes. anyway. Hi, Chris. I save it for you. And that's what she says to all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's a hoe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. One, the, the, <laughs> the only reason Chevy Chase, I'm almost mad because the movie probably could have sped along if Chevy Chase had actually got some ass. The only reason why he's not getting no ass is because they keep cock blocking him. Could I? Let's go for a drive. Are you Chris? No, 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 no. Man, he got all up in his he face. Sure hey, I don't know why you're talking to her. I'm going to get that dick. <laughs> <laughs> that dick is mine. <laughs> <laughs> he got, that fool came out. He swooped out of down. nowhere. That goddamn Brazilian swooped down on his ass. Could I? Let's go for a drive. Are you Chris? No, no, no. He drew, that, he, that's that's a Chris? Pepe Le Pew move. He <laughs> just sure is. That mother swooped in like South American Dracula right there. <laughs> no. That's fantastic. When are we leaving? <laughs> <laughs> inviting themselves. <laughs> they invite what they, you, you have inhabitants and the inhabitants. Yeah. And by the way, some offensive ass <laughs> shit that, the way no, they okay, do. Of course. It. Yeah. Go they, ahead, they, they, no, they're right because they can't, they can't pronounce it. <laughs> habitants. In the habitants. <laughs> they try to say Hamilton's. Uh, 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 in the habitants. It sounds like Hamptons. Ha- Hamptons. Yeah, habitants. They, they, they show up, but the only thing that's funny about it, they just force themselves on him. Yeah. Right, they do. <laughs> they come up and they... <laughs> they ain't got, no way they ain't coming. They got the key. They got the keys to his car. They pop the, <laughs> they pop the trunk <laughs> open. Denise, where are we going? <laughs> Scott! <laughs> I mean, they were annoying the shit out of me, but I was like, well, that's your own fault for telling them the right time to show up. Yeah. <laughs> what makes me laugh is it don't matter where they're going. They're coming along. Yeah. They don't give a fuck they what just, the destination they is. Just, they just heard driving. Yeah, yeah they, driving. Just, they just want to go somewhere. Drive. They just, just want to go somewhere. Is driving anywhere? Where? Really? Driving I'm where? I'm sorry, man. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Chris, what are you driving to? Chris, Chris. Chris. Because I meant, because, listen, that's a story I want to know. This dude is trying to fuck Chris. Could I? Let's go for a drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's you and Carlos. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we going for yeah, that. Yeah. I was like, he popping your yeah, truck and shit. Yeah. The moment I said my internet wasn't working. Can oh, I- really, Cardi? <laughs> <laughs> I can fix it. You knew he was across the room looking at him, look, looking at him talking to the whole way, time. Like, oh, no, that bitch is not going to get that. All right. He started walking. Like, at the, so he could just uh, line up that time. <laughs> I've been putting in work for this. That bitch is not going to take what's mine. <laughs> up in his face. Like, he's trying to hypnotize him. <laughs> you do not like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they're so annoying that they had this one racist moment in the movie and I had one. to act- <laughs> well, this, that, I had to laugh because 
I hate to say it, but I, you know, I, I, I normally am not, a, I'm not for this. I didn't like it, but God damn it, I, it's one of the few laughs I got because I had to agree with it. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I, I hate to agree with him, but yeah. I knew you were going to play that. It's because you do that shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. Your wife and her brother talking. <laughs> yeah, shut the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't I don't condone this. I don't approve of it. But God damn it, yes. Yes. That tells you how old this movie is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's 20 years ago. I thought that was the funniest shit in the world. I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with this. This will be funny. Funny forever. <laughs> well, when, you know, uh, when they finally make it, what was the village called? Do you remember? Val Val Valken, uh, Valken, uh, Counting, Valkyrie. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, Tom Cruise. It's like, it's, it, it's yeah. yeah. It's Valkavania or some yeah, shit like Valkavania. that. Yeah, Valkavania. I actually think that might be it, yeah, actually. Something like, something something like, like that. It's the, it's the New Jersey <laughs> Transylvania. <laughs> but... The, yeah, uh, it's, it's supposedly based on some place in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Like, it's, the whole idea that he got stopped and... Dan Aykroyd got stopped at, at a traffic stop like this, and the judge made him sit and, ha and have tea with him for a couple of hours. Shit, not a cup, it was four. Was it four hours? Yeah. Four, four. <laughs> so he said, I got to share this hard with somebody. But, uh, yeah, so no, when he gets stopped, there's that point where, like, they're, they're telling, telling Negron, especially, like, man, turn this, speed up, do this, and when he gets stopped, he's sitting there just mad with his <laughs> lips stuck out, and that made me laugh. That was funny. That, that's, that was the one time he shut up because he was just mad. You know, it was funny because, no, that is a funny part. Because well, you know, church, I know church. you probably saw this, too, because they, they told him, Outrace the car, yeah, the police I, car. They ain't no real cops. You, oh, man, you, yeah. you got a BMW, <laughs> act like it, bitch. And then when he got caught, they walked, They wouldn't even look at him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe your bitch ass got caught. <laughs> yeah, I know. They were sitting there like, we told you to stop the car, man. I don't know why you did all that crazy yeah, he, shit. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm the bad guy now. They wouldn't even look at his ass. <laughs> yeah. That, they, <laughs> they were disgusted. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> They were like, hey, we had nothing to do with this officer. Right, right. right. Stupid ass. They sure did throw him under the bus, didn't they? <laughs> they sure did. Let me see. Let now that you brought that up, let me see if I can even find that part. real man would have got away. Because yeah. <laughs> he told him, he said, <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, you got a BMW, act like it. Right. <laughs> but it's like you said, what I'm saying, if you a real man would have got away, the other one's like, I ain't had nothing to do with it. I told you not to do it. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. <laughs> yeah, let, me, yeah, let me see if I can actually find like this part. rewriting there. history and shit. Yeah, let me see if I can find this part, because... He said they wouldn't even look at him. <laughs> yeah, just look at him. Man, he got, he got busted, and they wouldn't, even, they wouldn't even look at him. I think I remember them just going like... Mm. Yeah, yeah let me see. Looking out the window like... Sir, these speeds are not advisable through here. And dry and egging his ass on the yep. same time. Yeah. Fa faster, faster, Chris, faster, Chris. Let me see if I can get up here when he finally got caught. And they said, they, I mean, they straight up, just looking the opposite way, <laughs> anywhere but at him. Valkyvania, yeah. That, I was joking, it's yeah, Valkyvania? Yeah, yeah, Valkyvania. Everybody relax. All they can do is cite me and hand me a bunch of tickets. I'll pay him and we'll be on our way back to the turnpike. Just mad. Oh, oh, fuck y'all. Oh, fuck y'all, man. It <laughs> looked like they're disappointed in yeah, him. Yeah. You're like, mm. <laughs> you ain't shit. They egged him on. They're like, God damn, why didn't you fucking obey the law, man? <laughs> Got us in trouble. <laughs> All of them. All of them ain't shit. <laughs> Chevy Chase is, is an asshole and kind of has it coming, but I was like, right. damn, Martin, that's a great scene to bring up. They are wrong for that shit. Hell yeah. Some of the humor is dated. When, when, they the, when they said it. When they said it. The humans dated when they said it at, when they said it at the time. <laughs> the shit wasn't funny when they said it back in nineteen ninety, whatever the fuck. Four. Right? Four? It, was it four? I wanna say four. And they telling jokes from nineteen sixty four. So that's where they buried Flipper. Some of you Jesus. kids right now, let's like, hey, I'm gonna play this again so y'all can hear it. So that's where they buried Flipper. Flipper's dead. Now, some of you kids are pulling out your phones. You talking? Who's Flipper? What is Flipper? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It don't. It's it don't make the. It. it don't make the joke any better when you do know. In fact, it might be funny if you just don't know what they're fucking talking about at all. Don't people don't put no time in this, into this shit. 
Put your phone down. Don't 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 look up Flipper right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. God damn it. Yeah, God damn it. It's a lame ass TV show from the '60s. Plus, the way that plays out, you're like, who is he making this joke to? Because he, he's he's not talking to me more. He clearly not talking to people and in the people back. People behind don't even know who Flipper is. Well, no, they say they do because remember they said Flipper is dead. Oh, well, right. right. <laughs> that's supposed to clean up his stupid joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, supposed the, that's supposed to be the that's supposed to be that's supposed to clean up to that shit yeah. joke. <laughs> Flipper is dead. But he's just kind of looking off in the space. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Bang, I ain't know where I'm at right now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare look that up. This joke does not deserve your time. It does not deserve your energy. Put the fucking phone down and listen to what I'm telling you. None of this shit deserves you to go look for any references in here. Because the shit ain't going to be funny when you do look it up. And don't say I didn't tell you when you do. And I, you know what? Save your bandwidth. And nothing funny is really happening, but... <laughs> I'm trying people I'm not sitting up here trying to be an asshole about this I'm not trying to be I'm, you know me I'm not trying to sit up and be angry about something just so y'all can like have something to laugh at or just bring you know just be one of those guys who's being snarky no people I'm trying to be fair with this I'm trying my best man to see eye to eye with this shit cause things do get interesting and I'm trying to find the, the, the excitement in it they get into a car chase as we just showed you with with uh, with John Candy as a policeman, they got some Mad Max shit going on right here. Uh, like you know what, this looks kind of cool. This city's already kind of pulling me in. I'm 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 intrigued at what they're doing. The Village Courthouse, the Village Courthouse is creepy. It's it, in that Texas Chainsaw Massacre way that they were trying to do. I was like, all right, great looking set. It is. I mean, great it's a horror set. movie. Maybe this could have worked. Even when they introduced Dan Aykroyd. Because I like the set design here, and I remember seeing the makeup. I didn't know what the hell this movie was about, but I remember seeing the makeup on this, and I thought, you know what? At least the makeup looks cool, because I didn't know that was Dan Aykroyd when I first saw the trailer of this a long time ago. So when they first introduced Dan Aykroyd right here, I'm like, you know what? That's that's kind of scary, because the makeup takes you back, and his introduction is kind of menacing. Be quiet and let him do his little thing, and we'll be on our way. Oh, I will let you be on your way, and well, when you go, the cat's eyes will spin! Now listen! Okay. We'll listen. I was like, God damn. <laughs> I, you know, the, the, the makeup alone, like I said, is enough to kind of make you feel very uncomfortable. But. Hey, hey, ho, ha, ho. <laughs> hula, hula, hula. The bula, bula, bula. Well, fuck, that got stupid real quick. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I remember, I remember thinking, like, like I said, you know, when I was a kid, stupid kid, I remember going, wait, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you wow. think it's going somewhere, don't just, you? Mm -hmm. To yeah. think that I was actually giving this the benefit of the doubt, well, that <laughs> didn't last long at all, did it? I mean, <laughs> people, that is five seconds later. Yeah, like, who, who would laugh at that? <laughs> hula, 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 the bula, bula, bula. <laughs> I was like, you know what? <laughs> you don't want to take this shit seriously, then fine. I won't even. The character is just is is just there to gross you out. Go ahead there, folks. Set yourself up a couple of dogs. Help oh, reaction shots. And yes, people, your mind is not playing tricks on you. You do see a dick <laughs> where his nose should be. Like he's got the like the, the dick of his Siamese twin growing out of his face. Twitch, do not get mad at me. Do not punish me. This is a PG-13 movie. This is out there. It's This is not, because it, it's not a dick. It is a nose. It's not even a nose. Says you. It's actually a prosthetic. Humpty even looking at him, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn, G. Damn, G. <laughs> <laughs> People, it's not even... It's not even a, it's not even a nose in the movie. I, Cause y'all are saying, yeah, it's a prosthetic. Of course, that's, that's all he had. Dan Aykroyd has on right now. No, it's a prosthetic in the movie. That's correct. And you learn that in the most disgusting and horrifying way. <laughs> I was like, God damn! Put, hey man, put your dick back on. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And if I tell you what, man, if Dan Aykroyd had been, if Dan Aykroyd had been given a, a good Scooby Doo script. He could have directed that, I think. Maybe. Because I think he would have done a great job because this this, this courthouse, this mansion, the spooky mansion, whatever, it's got everything that I want in a wacky spook and house. A, sure. Yeah, in a Scooby-Doo movie. In sure. a Scooby-Doo, what? No, in a wacky spook house. You know, yeah. when you when you anywhere from the Three Stooges to Abbott Costello to Casper to the Scooby-Doo, every time they were in a, a, a haunted house, 
they had those same things, man. They had they had you, y'all know the checklist. First of all, they got you gonna appreciate this. They got the they got the painting with the with, with the oh. holes for the eyes. In there. <laughs> <laughs> now that I actually laughed. <laughs> you know, y'all always gotta do this shit. Yeah. Now that I laughed at. They also they they had the Scooby Doo hallway. Must be the nursery. See, that's why he's joking. See. Room. And it always got to go to shit. Right. Got a whole room full yeah. of bad shit. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Got a room just for the best of shit in. They even got the trap doors. Man, I love a good trap yeah, door. Oh, yeah. Good night, Ari! <laughs> Mainly because I want to do that to these motherfuckers of the whole film. <laughs> Only thing missing was the rotating bookcase. And the rooms you run in and out of. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, they all yeah. run out <laughs> from different rooms. When there's a band playing by the yeah. same time. <laughs> there was a band playing. Yeah. Yeah. There was a rip-off they Beatles ran, band yeah. playing. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been fun, but they don't know what the fuck to do with this house. They See, got a whole house of all the stuff we saw as a kid in Spook House to play with, and they fucked the Scooby would be pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's secret passageways. Secret he, passageways. None of that. Scooby yeah. would be mad. Y'all got all this shit, and you don't know. Move. Let me show you how to do this. Right. People yeah. just, it's yeah. just, it, people yeah, just the, running around. The shrinking room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people just running around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Doing nothing. You know, they, all, all this fun stuff and you just wasting it. People running from this, running from that. All they end up, there's a couple of times, they end up on slides and they don't do nothing. They just got them out there. Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! You know, if, you, if you don't know what to do with this house, then get the fuck out! <laughs> it's a waste of a good spook house. <laughs> Sixty seconds of whoa! <laughs> it really was. Don't no, forget when he goes. Yeah. What? 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 Where? What? what, what? <laughs> <laughs> you were right. No, he, he said sixty seconds, a whole minute. <laughs> you were right about that. Yeah, back, like going down this slide. It's like okay, some grown ass people on a slide. Nothing's happening. Why? Why are you making us sit through this? <laughs> yeah. This you, Mark. You were so right. You just this goes on forever. It does. It does. It does. You know what? I take it back. This house did one cool thing. It killed the Baldwin brother. Right, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 The, the one Daniel that nobody Baldwin. likes. The one, yeah, it killed the Baldwin brother. Oh, I like Daniel. <laughs> that is all right. Danny. Steven, I can't stand Oh, oh well, yeah, you're right. That's Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And they even managed to make that look stupid. For, I, for a while, I was like, oh, that's cool. Now, did you read about that whole thing? No, what happened? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so Dan Aykroyd, like you said, he's out of his depth. He didn't want to direct this. He never directed another movie since. Um, but he was at this point, he's asking the crew. Like, the crew is, is gassing his head up, saying, like, man, this is great. And, and they're like, hey, we got some ideas. Hey, whatever ideas you got, let's do them. So they had the idea for this roller coaster of death. And that's what put the movie over budget. Oh. No, this and, bullshit. Yes, and, this and, stupid shit right yes, here put this yeah. over budget, which doesn't go with the rest of the family's theme. And that, of okay, being and, and like it kick it kicks out those 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 uh those completely bones. clean bones and has the banana split sound effects. That's because it was supposed to be a bloody scene, and that's when the studio came in and went like, "That's not working for us." Oh God, uh, damn. So he went over budget with that stupid ass. They yeah. only used twice yeah. in the film. I, I was wondering that. why those bowls were so clean. Yeah. They all clean as hell, ain't they? God. Yeah. But yeah, but like he's like the crew were having a good time with all the set design and everything. They were like, yo, we got this idea for a roller coaster. What he's like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's let's put that in. I'm not having fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah they're like, let, let, let us build this. It'll be great. And you're like, all right, cool. Shit, them bones. <laughs> we said bones are clean. clean yeah. Boy. See, I, ain't, I ain't seen bones that clean since I went to Popeyes with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mark throwing the bones right at me. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, kiss my ass. <laughs> Come on, man. You like that Popeyes? Oh, that's, fine. <laughs> that, 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 that's more than a two piece right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. God <laughs> damn, boy. That, Martin, that shit made me mad. Man, they went over budget for this dumb shit. Yeah. It would have been better had they just let them make this rated R and put the gore in there. At least it would have been something. I know. I know. At least it yeah. would have been something. This shit don't know what it wants to be. It's one of those movies don't know what it wants to be. It ends up being nothing. Not nothing but trouble, but just nothing. It could have been a pivotal scene in as much as our heroes, we see them in distress over this ticket and you don't know what he's going to do with them. Then you see these people come in and it them could, getting killed, right. yeah. that Hardly may take you back killed. to these other people. You're like, oh shit, yeah. they're all in bigger trouble than you think. Because right. I'm going to tell you, even with the, 
even with the bones coming out, I mean, before the shit got real stupid, it actually looked kind of like fun. <laughs> I mean, it's quick, you know. Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> hey, your last few minutes are fun. <laughs> well, when the scene, when the bones are flying out like that, and they're clean like that, it takes you a second to go, wait, is that them? Did they die? Right. Like, it you, don't, you don't really get it. Like, unless, if it was blood shooting out that motherfucker, then you're yeah. like, oh, my God. Some hey, shoes yeah. and some clothes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The gold chain. Because yeah, he didn't have a gold yeah, chain. Yeah, he had a gold chain, man. Yeah, we at least, they could at least thrown out some tattered suits and shit. Right, right. We had something. I felt like this shit was stepping on my vibe. I, yeah, it's personal now, because this is the point where I say, "Oh, but you see me in these reviews." Oh, wait, but it gets weirder. Oh, wait, but it gets crazier. You know, and at that point, something crazy does happen. Billy starts laughing his ass off. We start making fun of it, having a good time. Oh shit, that was wild. What happened there? That is, that don't make any sense. This is the first time that I got to sit up here and look at you and say, "Oh, but it gets weirder." And it's not a good thing at all. It's not fun. It's not good. I don't know what to do. I look at this like, what the f do you want me to do with this? This is really at the point of the movie. I was like, this is not even a part of the film. Yeah. This shit doesn't even make sense to what little sense you were making with the story in the first place. Why? You know, I don't mind you getting weirder. But the funny thing is, man, the weirder that they get with this the more disinterested I am in this movie, the, yeah. the more boring it gets. <laughs> Demi Moore is walking around this goddamn scrapyard. Oh, shit. <laughs> and out of nowhere, with no explanation, and don't even ask for one because you're not going to get it. Out of nowhere, she runs into this. Can't you hold that straight? He was, she's I like, what the fuck am I looking at? Stupid. <laughs> oh, God damn Two giant ass, moist ass baby men. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, okay, what the f is ha what is this? Two giant ass, moist ass baby men looking like a cross between garbage pail kids and sloth from the Goonies. Yeah. And they don't people. Sometimes I don't need anything explained to me. I even told y'all I like a little mystery with my weirdness. You know the the, the least I know sometimes the better. But no, you you have to explain this right here. Give me something. Give me something other than this was another reason for Dan Aykroyd to come in and play another character. Right. Dan Aykroyd plays one of those big babies called Bobo. Mm -hmm. As if he didn't have enough to deal with. He Bobo wanna... and Little Devil. Hi! I'm Bobo. That's Little Devil. They, they, mm -hmm. they keep coming back and it's the same thing. It don't get any funnier. It don't get any different. They just there to act like big man child. Big gross ass deformed man child. If I win again... He was already like, hey, guys, I'm already writing and, and producing this. Can somebody else play Bobo? And there was a collective, not it. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so he's like, all right, I guess I got to do this, too. <laughs> How about you just take it out the movie because it don't add anything to it? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, he must not try very hard. Somebody could have done that role. No, found it, it, it said he he regretted doing that the whole time. <laughs> no, he maybe didn't once want... he put the suit on, but he wanted to do it at some point. I don't I don't buy that for shit for a second. He put his I'll tell you, he put his ass into it, didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah exactly. <laughs> hey, he's a professional. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what? If nobody wants to play it, that was the perfect time to just say, you know what? Let's cut it out. Right. You didn't need. Believe me, people. You didn't need it. They. There's enough characters in here where one of them gonna came in and took the place of these big ass babies, and the movie wouldn't have, wouldn't have made any difference at all. And you're right. He didn't want to do it. Thing with the movie is that <laughs> you're right. No one wanted to do this right here. It's. it's the, the, it was almost like a lot of people just didn't want to be involved with the movie. Period. Nobody right. wanted to act. Nobody wanted to direct it. Yeah. So. Him and John Candy had to come in and just play double duty on some things. John Candy, who we haven't really talked about, because John they they got John Candy in here twice in two roles. They got John Candy as the cop that we saw earlier, and then they got him as his sister or his cousin. His oh, sister. Yeah, his, his sister. His sister. His mute as, sister. Yep. His sister. Yeah, they got John, it's John Candy and drag. I'm about to change my mind. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, you, ain't, you ain't show me all that, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't know you had that sexy yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they don't know what to do with him. That shit that he's doing in drag, believe me, that gets old quick. Yes. Real quick. That gets old. And the John Candy that is, is John Candy out of drag, 
they don't know what to do with him then. <laughs> so he took off. Right. Yeah, but, he but, finds but, an excuse to leave. But, I mean, you are so right. When you, The one, just him playing John Candy as a cop, he looks just pissed that he even has to be there. Mm. It's like, in every he scene, he's just like, like he, it yeah. he's not even trying to, no. to emote or anything. He's just like, I don't want to it, fucking be here. It's like if anybody went to go see this because they love the humor of John Candy, you don't get that. No. You get John Candy, and that's it. Was I speeding? Sorry, wasn't sure you were a real cop. And uh, please, I mean that in a complimentary sense. That's okay. There's no law against having a sense of humor. But why don't you get some, goddammit? <laughs> One of my favorite comedic actors, too, John Candy. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, they, they, they don't do anything with him here. No. The, the only weird thing that worked for me in this movie is Digital Underground. It's just the same old song. It's just the freestyle. Meanwhile, we keep the thing kicking. Yeah. Sneezing, but still I'm pleasing. I got to get the, I got to get the movie. <laughs> yeah. I got to get out of here. <laughs> the whole time he's trying to get out of the chase. <laughs> Real quick. He fought that movie. He fought with John Candy and Drag. <laughs> I, I did not know that, that they were in the movie. I remember yeah. back in the day, I thought, I thought it was, they just did the song. Exactly. I no, thought they just did the, the music movie. video, and I thought the music video had taken some, you know, that, like they got invited to the set to, re, to, sure, to shoot sure. there. Just a freestyle. Meanwhile, we keep the big kick. Yeah. Move over. I gotta blow my nose. Oh, that's so sad. That's oh, bad. Oh man, Dan Aykroyd was in the video. Dan, I didn't Dan know that. Dan Aykroyd was in the video. Dan Aykroyd was in the video. Look at him. He's high. He's he's high and he's smiling like back when he had hope. In this movie right here. <laughs> I thought, man, this could have been a much better movie had it been digital underground, going into a redneck town. Yes. And and having to deal with that because that that the, the the little bit that they that they're in the movie, man, the shit is actually funny. Man, would you look at this place? She is right one up. ugly, cross burning, redneck, peckle police bitch, man. All right. <laughs> peckle with police yeah, bitch. Oh, looking, there you are. I didn't see you. He's he looking at me like, oh, you act like I'm supposed to be surprised. Right, right, right. I, I no, knew you were standing I there. I knew you were standing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew the standard the whole time. He takes his time getting that line up. Yeah, he sure did. Cross burning, ugly ass, peckle with police bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> I was hoping you was here. And you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't look at me like I just said the truth. That dude said white man's heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Dracula shit is white man's heaven. <laughs> Dracula. 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 I just see Dracula right now. White man's heaven. <laughs> that shit would have been much funnier had digital, it would have. if it had been the digital underground movie. That would have been so much better, and man. And it was just that feeling of like, well... It's pretty late in the movie, but maybe with them here, they can turn it around. <laughs> yeah, and maybe so, they'll stick around. <laughs> yeah. So what was the deal? Were they just on Warner Brothers' label at the time, and they just grabbed? Yeah, that's in? how those things work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're you're on the label, we can get you for the movie, and then we'll do cross promotion by having some people from the movie in the music video. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the movie couldn't have ended any better. Excuse me, sir. How do you feel oh. now that you have lost everything? See you soon, banker. No. Ah. What? He spoke oh. for the whole audience right there. Yep. <laughs> I wanted to do that shit an hour ago. <laughs> I, I, did, I did that shit an hour ago. I had a theory about this ending, and I read about it, and I was like, exactly what I thought. They couldn't Tell get me. him back or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did that shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had a theme about the day and they looked up and Chevy Chase fucked through the that wall. Gone. And they were like, well, let's just film that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he said they couldn't get him back. The catch up, this man. And my too fast. Hey, man, he's gone. Oh, look at the end of the wall. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's just that going through it, they didn't really have an ending. And, uh. Oh, man. Are you serious? And, uh, oh they, my God. They, they didn't have an ending, and then Dan Aykroyd came back and he said, "All right, I wrote this ending. I know it's not good, but if anybody has anything better," and everybody was like, <laughs> "You know uh, what? We could, but we don't give a shit." <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was like, it was. <laughs> he knew it wasn't good, but it was better than anything else anybody else had. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> man, fuck you, movie. Fuck you. This movie's a fuck you. <laughs> For doing this to me. So he just shot that? He just shot that. Yeah. Just put a hole, just put a shape in the wall. <laughs> like the end. You can kiss my ass. Yes, it's personal. This is the first movie. I consider myself a professional, man. I come in here and I work my ass off. 
every Tuesday for these movies. This is the first time. This is the first time I felt fucking helpless. <laughs> That's a good word for it. It really was. The first time I felt like I was drowning. Trying to figure out what to do with this film right here. I'm trying I'm putting more work into the movie than they did. Yeah. Now it's not personal against the people that made the film. I'm sure you did the best you could, but as far as this movie, and I'm sorry if this is They did not do the best they could. No, no, you did not, you did not. These people didn't over give and a over fuck. in every aspect, they did not do the best they could. They did not care. Nobody came in here. Dan Aykroyd, God bless you, man. You put something into it because your name was all over it. But these these people didn't give a shit. And I'm gonna tell you something to really, Oh, this even pisses you me off the, more. The lame ass way they, they wrote out John Candy and the Brazilian. I was, couple. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say, oh this, this, pi- this pisses me off even more. <laughs> just, just to show you how useless and how almost racist it was to have those the, the Brazilians in there. They really did have them in there for their for the funny accents because the beginning of that movie had nothing else going on. They were there to literally add color to the movie. And to show you that they weren't going to do nothing with them, they had no plans for them outside of just putting them there so you could laugh at their funny their funny accents. Chris, Chris. They, they ran out the movie and never came back until the end. <laughs> they, jumped yeah. the win- they jumped out the window literally. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they jumped out the window, sw- swam across a, a, yeah. a, a, a contaminated water. They, I, I laughed at that, I had to they, say. They left the movie and they, just, they pretty much said, get us I out did. of here. John Candy, please get us out of here. John Candy said, well, I don't want to be in this shit either. Let's go. Leisure <laughs> time. Kick back. Nice. Fish taco. Quick hide. Come on, it's my cousin. Come on. People, they don't come back. And I'll tell you what, they don't come back until you see John Candy on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> fucking his sister. Yeah, fucking his sister. Yeah, they got a beach. Yeah. <laughs> got money. <Yeah. laughs> they added nothing to that story, man. They got nothing. Fuck I mean, it really is them saying, like, aren't you ga- glad you left that movie? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I sure am. Yeah. I got yeah. money. I got this fine. Yeah, I got chick. this fine. <laughs> Presenting your sister fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. No, man. This is one of the biggest fuck yous I've ever go. seen. This movie, you really. I, 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 I never tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Tommy Wiseau gives a shit about his movie more than anybody oh, yeah, gives a shit does. here. He does. 